The pace at which artificial intelligence is running at is becoming hard to beat for the human race. Does that mean we have to be careful? Join us on this episode as we share deep insight into if AI will surpass human intelligence and what singularity. Before we dive in, take a minute to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and turn on notifications. In the current era, artificial intelligence has become the talk of the town, creating a buzz with its mind-boggling potential in various fields, such as medicine, language, and even self-driving cars. The very thought of a future interwoven with AI has stirred up mixed emotions, leaving people in awe and worry alike. It's given rise to endless speculations, raising concerns ranging from the emergence of killer machines to the security of our own jobs. The question that arises then is whether we should take a cautious approach towards such highly advanced AI to calm our own apprehensions. Well, that's a subjective matter but it all comes down to the concept of singularity. It refers to a point of no return, a tipping point, at which the intelligence of machines outshine our own. The idea of singularity has provoked a gamut of reactions, with some predicting a doomsday scenario, while others envisioning a utopia. Regardless of the viewpoint, it's a thought-provoking topic that forces us to ponder over the direction in which our future is headed. What is singularity? The notion of singularity refers to a point in time when machine intelligence attains, or even surpasses, human intelligence, a concept that's been embraced by pioneers such as Stephen Hawking and Bill Gates for a while now. Although the term machine intelligence may sound intricate, it simply denotes advanced computing that enables a device to interact and communicate intelligently with its surroundings via a computer, smartphone, or algorithm. The potential implications of singularity are far-reaching, and it's become a subject of much debate in various domains, from science and technology to ethics and philosophy. While some people view it as a groundbreaking milestone that could unlock a plethora of possibilities, others are concerned about the potential risks that could arise from such an event. Regardless, the idea of singularity continues to captivate the minds of thinkers and innovators, beckoning us towards an exciting yet uncertain future. The idea of singularity is not new and has been in circulation for several decades. The legendary English mathematician, Alan Turing, known as the pioneer of theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence, explored the concept of singularity in the 1950s. He invented the famous Turing test, a method to ascertain whether machines can think autonomously. The test pits a human against a computer, with the system attempting to convince the evaluator that it's in fact a human. The Turing test has regained attention with the emergence of highly advanced AI chatbots like ChatGPT. These bots have pushed the boundaries of artificial intelligence to new levels inspiring a resurgence of interest in Turing's groundbreaking work. According to Ashani Priyadarshini, a postdoctoral scholar at UC Berkeley who specializes in applied artificial intelligence and technological singularity, the primary distinction between machine intelligence and human intelligence is that our intelligence is fixed, whereas machine intelligence is not. She explains that AI systems have an endless capacity for growth and improvement, unlike the human brain. The limitation with AI systems is not the ability to expand their intelligence, but the space required to house all the computing power necessary for their advancement. Unlike the human brain, which is confined within the skull, AI systems can be scaled up many times over as long as there's sufficient space to accommodate their computing power. The potential for exponential growth in AI is both exciting and daunting, underscoring the need for thoughtful consideration and responsible development of this transformative technology. When will we reach singularity? The timeline for achieving singularity is a subject of much speculation and debate, with many claiming that we'll reach it within the next decade. However, such claims are at best conjectural. According to Priya Darshini, we've already achieved some components of singularity, like pieces of a puzzle that we've yet to fit together. 
While Priya Darshini believes that we may achieve singularity sometime after 2030, she cautions that it's difficult to predict with certainty given our limited understanding of this rapidly evolving technology. There's a real possibility that it could take much longer to reach Singularity's event horizon, the point of no return when we unleash super-intelligent computer systems. The path to Singularity is filled with challenges and unknowns, requiring careful consideration and responsible decision-making to ensure that the outcome is a positive one for humanity. Despite ongoing efforts, measuring progress towards Singularity remains a complex and challenging endeavor. Some experts point to language translation as a key indicator of our progress toward this milestone. For example, when AI can translate speech as well as or better than humans, it would suggest that we have taken a significant step closer to achieving singularity. However, Priyadarshini proposes that memes, of all things, could also serve as a marker of our progress towards singularity, as AI still struggles to understand them. Memes are a form of cultural expression that relies heavily on nuances and context, making them a challenging task for current AI systems to comprehend. As such, our ability to develop AI that can understand memes may be an essential milestone on the path to singularity. For this reason, while singularity remains a challenging concept to measure, ongoing advancements in technology and our understanding of AI will continue to shape our progress toward this transformative milestone. What will happen if AI reaches singularity? Once AI reaches singularity, the possibilities of what it can accomplish are truly unknown. Experts speculate that a superintelligent system would be capable of feats that we can't even fathom using our current level of intelligence. Roman Yapolsky, an associate professor in computer engineering and computer science at the University of Louisville, highlights the difficulty in predicting the capabilities of such a system. In a recent paper, Yampolsky explored the idea of AI predicting decisions that AI can make. His findings are unsettling. You have to be at least that intelligent to be capable of predicting what the system will do. If we're talking about systems which are smarter than humans, super intelligent, then it's impossible for us to predict inventions or decisions, he says. Essentially, once we reach the singularity, our current level of understanding and prediction will become obsolete, and we'll need to become super intelligent ourselves to keep up. The implications of super intelligent AI are vast and difficult to comprehend. Some experts believe that it could revolutionize fields like medicine, energy, and transportation, while others warn of potential risks, such as the creation of autonomous weapons or the loss of human jobs. The possibilities are endless, but the consequences, both positive and negative, could be equally significant. Can AI harm us? Artificial intelligence is not currently sentient, which means that it can't think, perceive, or feel in the same way that humans do. It's important to note that singularity and sentience are often confused, but they are not closely related. Even though AI is not sentient, we are not exempt from the unintended consequences of rogue AI. It's important to recognize that AI has no motivation to become rogue, but even so, we have no way to detect, measure, or estimate if AI systems are experiencing internal states. Regardless of sentience, rogue AI can still be highly capable and dangerous. Furthermore, even if there were a way to measure sentience in AI, it's unclear if sentience is even possible in machines. As we wrap up this video, we'd love to hear your thoughts on the idea of singularity. Are you concerned about the potential risks it poses to our society? Or do you believe that we have nothing to worry about? Share your opinions in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.